So today I'm talking about a P0134 code, what it is and how you could go about fixing it. And so what is a P0134 code? Well, it's an oxygen sensor circuit, no activity detected, bank one, sensor one. And so what does this mean? Well, basically vehicles have oxygen sensors that are located down on the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And the computer uses that information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. And the second thing they do is they monitor the catalytic converter. But when you get this P0134 code, the computer's seeing a problem with one of these sensors, mainly the bank one sensor one O2 sensor. And so it's going to be troubleshooted to know why. And if you have a V6 or V8 engine, the engine's going to have two banks. Bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you Google your engine and like cylinder location or firing order or something along those lines, and you find the number one cylinder on your engine, since there is differences, then that side of the engine is going to be bank one. And the opposite of that would be bank two. And bank one side of the engine is going to be the side of the engine the computer's seeing a problem with. If you have a four cylinder engine, then there'll only be one bank on the engine. And the basics of what's going on with these O2 sensors is that each bank of the engine is going to have two sensors. Sometimes there could be more, but there's usually two sensors on each bank of the engine. The sensor one is going to be located before the catalytic converter, and it's also sometimes called the upstream O2 sensor. Sensor two is going to be located after the catalytic converter, sometimes right on it, and it's also called the downstream O2 sensor. Then when you get this P0134 code, the sensor to go and locate on your vehicle is going to be this bank one sensor one O2 sensor. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0134 code? Well, the most common cause of this code is going to be that that sensor failed, that that bank one sensor one O2 sensor has gone bad and needs to be replaced, or there's some kind of issue going on inside the wiring. There's like an open, there's a short, there's a blown fuse, something like this going on. And so there's going to be some different ways to go about troubleshooting this. You can't go and test the sensor and see if it's good. And then if it's good, go and check the wiring. You can't go and check the wiring. And then if that's good, check the sensor. And it's always a good idea to get a wiring diagram and schematics for your particular vehicle. That way you know for sure what's going on with your vehicle. Because there can be differences in what's going on with these O2 sensors and the wiring going to it. There can be two wire sensors, three wire sensors. For example, if you have a four wire sensor, which is fairly common, what's going on with these sensors, you're going to have two parts to it. You're going to have a heater element that's built into it. And then you're going to have the O2 sensor part and that's reading how much oxygen there is inside the exhaust. Basically the O2 sensor part, it can't get accurate readings until it warms up, until it gets hot. And so that the whole vehicle doesn't have to wait for the engine to get hot and the exhaust to get hot before it can start getting good readings. They put these heater elements in there so that it quickly warms up, that it warms up really fast. And the heater element side is usually going to go to a fuse and a relay. So it's a good idea to go check your fuses and relays to be sure those are good. This heater element side is kind of like a light bulb. If it burns out, it doesn't work no more. So you can use a multimeter and go and check that heater element inside there and be sure it's good. You can also look up what the rated ohms that it's supposed to be at and check to see if it matches that. But usually if it burns out, it just doesn't work no more. It'll be open. Usually with these four wire sensors, the same two wires that have the same color, for example, right here, these two white wires, those are usually going to the heater element and the mismatch wires are usually going to the O2 sensor part. So if you find that bank one sensor, one O2 sensor, you find the same two colored wires or you have a wiring diagram, you could check that heater element inside there and check to see if it burned out using a multimeter. If you have a wiring diagram for your particular vehicle, since there's going to be differences, you can check the wires going back to the computer. Or you can check and be sure that those are good, that there's no opens or shorts going on with those wires. Because if there's any kind of issue going on with the wiring, then that's going to cause problems. If you have a good OBD2 scan tool with live data, you can also use it to go and test these sensors. I mean, basically, to do that, you go into live data and you select the sensors you want to test. For example, right here, all the O2 sensors have been selected. This is going to be Bank 1 Sensor 1, Bank 1 Sensor 2, Bank 2 Sensor 1, and Bank 2 Sensor 2. So right here would be bank one sensor one. And what you want to see is you want to see the voltage going positive to negative. So you see right here, it's going positive and then negative, positive and then negative. And that's basically what you want to see. Sensor two should be flat because there's no oxygen left. It should have burned up going through the catalytic converter. So it should be just flat like this. But the sensor one should be moving up and down like this. If this sensor one is flat, like this sensor two shows right here, or if it's really high voltage or really low voltage and just stuck there and not moving up and down, then there's some kind of issue going on with that sensor. And so that's just a real basic overview of how you can use an OBD2 scan tool to test it. There's some good YouTube videos that'll get into the details of it. But if you have an OBD2 scan tool, you can go and test that sensor and check to see what's going on with it. You can use that to troubleshoot it. But basically the most common things that's going to cause this P0134 code is going to be either that bank one sensor 102 sensor has gone bad or the wiring going to it. And so that's basically it.
I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0134 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.